Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, we hear from war artist William Orpen's great-grandson, James Birkin. My name is James Birkin. I am descendant of William Orpin, who was my great-grandfather. Orpin was born in Ireland, near Dublin. He was a painter in Chelsea in the times before the war. I think he was a very sensitive man, and the war brought him in contact with the horrors of the individual soldier. I think Orpin was deeply traumatised by the war. He saw, like so many others, dreadful things. He certainly drank an awful lot, and I don't think it helped. He died young. Being an official war artist and well-recognised already at that time, he was commissioned to do all sorts of portraits at the end of the war. He had a commission to do three portraits of the treaty at Versailles of the Peace Conference. These were done after the war. And by the time he'd done the second one, he clearly felt he couldn't really do a great deal more. While he was attending the peace conference, he wrote home to his wife about the difficulties in painting the portraits. He says, and then, you know, I couldn't go on. It all seemed so unimportant somehow. In spite of all these eminent men, I kept thinking of the soldiers who remain in France forever. So I rubbed all the statesmen and commanders out and painted the picture as you see it. And the picture, as it was then, was an unknown soldier in France with the background of the Versailles Palace, with two almost skeletal soldiers uh, with angels above them standing guard. It was something that um, I think was very powerful, actually, and it was an extremely popular picture with the public. Although the nation wasn't keen on accepting it, I think maybe for the powers that be it was a little bit too close to the mark. So Orpin did paint out the figures. It's interesting because the paint is quite lightly applied. So you can see the ghostly figures underneath. And he presented the portrait of an unknown British soldier in France without the figures in memory of Field Marshal Haig. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, we hear Lieutenant General Sir Henry Rawlinson reflecting on lessons learned from the Battle of the Somme.